Howdy folks and welcome to Brain Riders. E3 gave us a ton of trailers, so Guardians of the Galaxy game being amongst one of the biggest trailers there. It's all exciting because there are easter eggs and details that you missed in this trailer because there's more than meets the eye to every second of it. We're going to be breaking it all down as well as the gameplay demo, so stay with me. So let's start with the official trailer. The bottom left of the opening shot as the head of a sentinel from where you will remember from any X-Men comic or even the X-Men Days of Future Past movie. We know that in the trailer, trailer, Star-Lord is being made out to be the main character, similar to the movies, and as such, we can assume that Peter Quill's mother is the one speaking over the trailer. You'll remember Peter's mother dying is a big reason he won't return to Earth, which leads me to believe that the game story will be similar to Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, where we explore Peter's heritage, meaning this giant guy later in the trailer could be Peter's dad, except instead of Ego, this could be Star-Lord's father from the comics, from Spartax, and his name is being Jason. Seeing how this this big star face encapsulating the screen is in the shape of the Spartax symbol. This has to be his dad as the villain of the game. These guys here are obviously the Nova Corps, being one of the only ones who are the space police from the Guardians movies, which could set up Nova the character in the game as well. So as per the other Guardians, Gamora is looking a lot like herself from Gamora, Guardian of the Galaxy Run. Drax too is looking a little bit like his comic book self, while Rocket, Quill, and Groot are all inspired by the movies. We know that the Guardians aren't being held by the Nova Corps for very long because on account of the dead Nova officer floating in space here, this blast of metal is the Nova Corps blown to pieces. We can see Quill keeps a mug and what looks like a Ronin figurine on his spot in the Milano, which is exactly what Yanu does in his ship with his collectibles. And another little tidbit about Quill's spot on the Milano, we can see that Quill is piloting the ship from the middle of the ship. In the movies, the Milano is piloted from the front two seats only. We can see the Ravager symbol on this box with Guardians of the Galaxy written on it, as well as the team having all kinds of merch, so meaning they have been the Guardians of the Galaxy for a while now, being known universe-wide. Seknarf 9 is the planet the Guardians go to to fight the game's first boss, Lady Hellbender, who is kind of like the collector but collects only monsters and provides some sanctuary on her planet. Hellbender herself is a self-taught warrior from the comics who was traumatized as a kid when her dad pit her pet against a monster. The monster killed the pet and now she provides a sanctuary forcefully to protect all beasts. The trailer song is obviously Holding Out for a Hero by Bonnie Tyler, a popular 80s song accompanied by a later also 80s song called Bad Reputation by Joan Jett. If you don't know, one of the staples of Guardians of the Galaxy movies is the 80s filled awesome mixes. This shot of Groot yelling while his back ejects with these sharp branches is the same shot from the first Guardians film where Groot does that exact same thing. Hey, you made it this far. You must still subscribe if you're new as well as hitting that bell for notifications so you don't miss another video just like this one. With Rocket yelling at Groot because Groot called him a monster lines up perfectly with Rocket's character arc. You'll remember from the films him complaining about being a, called a vermin and a rodent. He hates being this animal. This scene in particular could be from Spartax's kingdom or house or whatever. These two big brawling red dudes are the blood brothers from the comics. Essentially, the two are overpowered hulks and the closer in proximity they are, the more overpowered they are. But the further away from each other they get, the more their powers become limited or nil. This scene from the Guardians floating frozen in space until Ravager ship warms them up is reminiscent of the scene where Quill and Gamora almost freeze to death in space, but Ryondu's Ravager ship, you know, sucks them up to warm them up. This gray floating octopus is called Dweller. In in the comics, its name is Dweller in the Darkness, and it feeds off fear. This scene of the Guardians standing in a circle is reminiscent of the scene in the first Guardians film where they're all standing in a circle. I can hear Rocket now making the quip about how I'm standing. You happy? We're all standing. Bunch of j If you're a fan of the Guardians of the Galaxy show, you'll recognize when Rocket yells, Flurkin great! Flurkin is a quip from the Guardians show that he says every episode. Obviously, this is Mantis from the movies looking exactly the same almost in time to mispronounce Star-Lord's name saying he is Sun-Lord, only for Quill to be super offended and correct her. This is reminiscent of when Star-Lord introduces himself to Ronan's lackey as Star-Lord, but the lackey replies, who? And Quill is just all offended. It's practically the same interaction. Cosmo the Russian telepathic dog from the comic book Guardians team is shown in the trailer. The shot of Rocket on Groot blasting away is the same shot of when Rocket was blasting away on Groot in the prison from the first film. Lastly, I can say the 
the weirdest part of this trailer is when Peter Quill kisses the octopus tentacle creature goodbye, but this is an Easter egg because I recognize that from the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, Quill shows Drax where he got stabbed by an Oscavarian, and then Quill says, you've seen the tentacles on that thing? This is the Oscavarian. This is in reference to that. Now, this game isn't canon to the MCU, but still weird reference. You know, as per the gameplay demo, I'm loving the third person POV. It does remind me a lot of how the Avengers game operates. Not a terribly great game, but hopefully this is much better. The mechanics are really cool with how you can target creatures using the rest of the Guardians and their abilities as Star-Lord. You can tell all the effects aren't really finished, but man, is this a really cool start. So folks, what do you think of this breakdown? What do you think of the Guardians Galaxy trailer? And what did you miss? What did I miss? Let me know in the comments section below. Let's discuss it all. Thank you all so much for the massive support recently. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.